Anyway, as far as odds and ends, there was another, this doesn't really tie into any other bigger feature that I had, but I wanted to share this. Uh, as far as climate change goes, one of the many topics that is not being dealt with appropriately, we're still, uh, happy spring, by the way, one day early, I guess, uh, we're still in the cusp of winter and spring, but it's already an unseasonably warm year. It is an El Nino year, so that's somewhat typical, but it keeps trending up. This is beyond just El Nino. It is a climatic shift. Um, what this summer has in store, you know, more droughts, more wildfires, who knows. But this was an interesting story that was circulating. Uh, this is from the 13th, so a week ago. Swept away, half a million dollar sand dune built to protect U.S. homes disappears in days. So this is a coastal town in Massachusetts that was home to some wealthy people north of Boston. Uh, Salisbury is the name of the town. And so basically, these were some uh, expensive houses that were beachfront, and the um, ocean has been rising. You know, cue the um, Ben Shapiro thing about like, well, I assume then those people would just sell their houses, you know, but one problem, Ben, to who's going to buy them, fucking Aquaman. So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's just a, uh, a a house that is underwater is a house that is not worth anything. Okay, so who, who are you going to sell that to? <laughs> you know, I think um, the fish don't have that much money. But anyway, so they build a $500,000 sand dune because there was like a storm hitting. And so they dumped 15,000 tons of sand to try to protect the houses. And it was swept away in 72 hours. So, you know, three days later... The storm just washed the entire thing away. There goes half a million dollars. And so it's not going to work long term. Now, one of the people who was involved in this effort tried to spin it, saying that, well, it did protect the houses. Yeah, it got washed away, but it did its job in that it protected our properties. I mean, yeah, this time. But what are you going to do? Spend a half a million dollars every single time there's a big storm? That's not sustainable, obviously, especially if you get three or four of these a year, you know, then even if you got, um, you know, 10 people going in on it, because like, how, how big is this sand dune? Those houses tend to be large on some property and a little bit spread out. So let's say you got 10 people even, you know, splitting uh, this half a million dollar dune, you get three or four of those a year. I mean, you're just dumping tens and hundreds of thousands of do dollars into your property. That's called losing money. You know, you'd, uh, just be better off trying to dump it but anybody who sees these stories is going to realize that it's futile trying to protect your property over the long term and um you know you can talk to people who are involved in efforts to like track sea level rise and it's definitely a very real phenomenon tied to climate change so um you know this is i think an early episode and little, you know, uh, example here of what is going to be happening increasingly in the next couple of decades as the situation uh, is exacerbated.